Hi everyone! In today's book review, I'm highlighting an award-winning book that I absolutely recommend for any parent to read at home out loud to your child or for any primary classroom teacher to read out loud to your students. If you're new to our channel, welcome. I'm Ms. Chandra, teacher and learning expert for over 23 years. If you'd like to learn more about me, please head over to our website and check out my bio in the About section. While you're there, explore our freebies and check out all the free instructional videos and printable worksheets you can grab for extra learning at home or in the classroom. In today's video, I'm sharing one of my all-time favorite stories in the Elephant and Piggy series by Mo Williams. If you're not familiar with popular children's author Mo Williams, you need to be. His books are incredible, especially his ability to bring engaging, entertaining characters to life for young learners. Although I love every single book in the Elephant and Piggy series, and always kept a stock full of all books by author Mo Williams in my classroom library every year I taught in the primary grades, I always defaulted to this classic, There is a Bird on Your Head. The character play between best friends Gerald and Piggy and the humor in this story will absolutely keep your child or students fully engaged and only wanting to read this book over and over again. So let's jump to it and talk about my three favorite things about this book. First up, let's talk about the illustrations. The characters in this book are not only pleasing to the eye, but they're lovable, they're humorous, and most importantly, they're relatable. Many of the pages in the book have just illustrations with no text or with minimal text. This allows you to ask your child or students to predict what is happening and encourages great conversation. We get to experience this right in the beginning of the story, which only makes your child or students eager to learn and see what is going to happen next. Number two, simple sentences, sight words, and repetition. The text in this book contains many sight words and beginning words, making it the perfect story for any young learner ages three to eight. Also, many of the words and sentence parts repeat, which is great for developing fluency and getting repeated reading practice. When you read this story out loud to your child or to your students in your class, you'll find that they're going to be quick to pick it up and want to read it over and over again to themselves. The repeated sentence parts, words, and phrases coupled with those beginning sight words and beginning words allows children to have immediate success when they're learning how to read this story. And that's exactly what we want. So let's jump to number three. Reading Comprehension This book really lends itself to helping young learners improve with reading comprehension. Not only can you stop at many parts in the book and ask questions to check for understanding, but the end of the story allows for many great continued discussions about what the problem was and how it was solved. After that, you can continue to develop understanding and make real-world connections by asking your child or students, how else could the problem have been solved? Or one of my favorites, what would you have done differently? This story, along with all the stories in the Elephant and Piggy series, allows you to open the door to discussions about friendships in your own child or student's lives. Not only can you compare and contrast the differences and similarities between the two main characters and best friends, Gerald and Piggy, but you also could make connections to friendships in your child or student's lives. If you're looking for printable extension activities for this book to use at home or to use in your classroom, just head to our website and download the There is a Bird on Your Head book companion. 
Each book companion on our website contains five extension activities designed to improve reading skills and comprehension. Like all our printable worksheets and activities, it's included with a monthly subscription. Links to our website and links to purchase this book from Amazon can be found below in the text details of this video. I hope you enjoy reading this story to your little one or little learners as much as I do. If you give it a go, let me know how it went. And if you have another favorite story in the Elephant and Piggy series, tell me about it. I love hearing from you. And I love that you're spreading the joy of reading. If you liked this video and found it helpful or useful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel for all things education. Don't forget to check out our website for all your primary and at-home learning needs. I can't wait for you to join me again for our next book review. Bye friends.